we're in the middle of something astounding. That it certainly hasn't happened to the same degree for at least 500 years. This is something completely new. Up until relatively recently, what you imagined, such as the author, could extend beyond what you could do. But the weird thing at the moment is, we're dealing with a world where what we can do extends beyond what we can imagine. The future's actually been inhibited and retarded by a lack of imagination. If you want to see that, look at how long it's taken for applications that are internet enabled to actually get as far as they have done. Look at the crappiness of email. Look how clunky it is. How much imagination does it take to make that into something with texture, granularity, delight? It's just a very poor substitute for some of the other communication tools. It's taking longer than it should. And that is because the tools that are now in our hands, the technologies that are available to us, are stupefying in their implication. And when I say there's a cataclysmic connection coming together there, I mean it in the right meaning of the word, is it can go one way or the other. It can be amazing or it can be really, really bad. And I've seen some very, very bad stuff over recent years. Because you can do it, you do it. We're now at a stage in the 21st century where we don't need to talk about what we can do, we need to think about what we should do. And that's the role of the designer because they may be the only person in the room that's got that imagination, that capability to think beyond it. They may be the only person with the passion to be able to put that point forward.